Welcome back everyone, this is Coaster Daddy, and today I have an interesting topic to discuss. That is the trademark filing from Bolliger and Mabillard, otherwise known as B&M, which is for a new, currently unannounced product dubbed the Surf Coaster. It appears that this trademark filed by B&M appeared back in June of 2019, possibly a bit earlier, so this is nothing new. However, we still have not received any official word from B&M as to what the surf coaster might be. Recently, I've heard a lot of talk circulating in the community about what this new concept may consist of, so I wanted to just weigh in and give some of my thoughts as to what this new product could potentially be, and I have a few ideas to discuss. The first theory I will discuss is one that does derive itself from the very name on this trademark for obvious reasons, and that is the water coaster theory. Out of all the theories I will be discussing, this is by far the one I'd be least excited for. I'm not big on water rides, though admittedly I've never been on a true water coaster. The most comparable products on the market that come to mind are the likes of Intamin's Aquatrax and the Mach Rides Power Splash. The closest B&M has ever come to incorporating water elements into a ride is the splashdowns on some dive coasters and a couple hyper coasters, which most aren't even true splashdowns, just meant to act as trims as the train skim the water. In my opinion, I don't think the surf coaster from B&M will be a water coaster concept. Here's why. B&M is known for being pretty predictable. They make amazing rides, but they don't push boundaries typically. I feel like they wouldn't want to jump into something like this which would be drastically different than anything they've done in the past, and I don't think it would yield a significant profit for the company, as water coasters just simply aren't in demand like other models of roller coasters. I believe a water coaster would not allow B&M to compete with the current premier roller coaster manufacturers out there and give them any kind of edge that they need over the other well-known manufacturers. A water coaster would just cost way too much to research and develop from scratch, and it wouldn't be worth the cost to the company, as I don't see something like this succeeding in the current market long term. The next theory, which seems to be the most common one thrown around, is a modern version of the stand-up coaster. This is really interesting to me, but it could make sense. The stand-up coaster hasn't been built in over 20 years, ever since Georgia Scorcher in 1999, and many of them have been converted to feature floorless trains due to the unpopular stand-up experience. I wouldn't be surprised to see some of the current stand-ups close either. However, maybe B&M has an answer to these older, inferior ride experiences with more modern technology. Many people seem to think surf could refer to the way you stand up when surfing, which would translate to a stand-up experience of some kind. If this concept were to come to life, would this new model strive to emulate the feeling of being a surfer? Due to the negative reception of stand-up coasters for most people, general public and enthusiasts alike, I believe B&M would really have to find a way to make this new version stand out from the old model rather than just being a rehash or simple redesign of that very concept. This would really have to be something very new for it to find any success, as well as having an emphasis on extra comfort, as most find the stand-up coasters to be pretty unpleasant. The stand-up coaster was the very first ever product from B&M, so it was undoubtedly important to the company's history and what they would evolve into. Maybe the new trains that they would develop would even have the option to be retrofitted onto currently operating coasters, so some of the stand-ups still out there could receive newer, more comfortable trains, in turn leading to a much better ride experience. A new stand-up design like this would probably incorporate the newer B&M vest restraints found on wing coasters and newer dive coasters commonly. However, due to the history of the stand-up coaster, I'm still not confident many parks would be willing to risk an investment such as this. Admittedly though, this theory does make a lot of sense. The final theory, which is one that I have seen gaining some traction very recently, is that the surf coaster may be B&M's take on the 4th dimension coasters such as X2 and Ajanaka. Right away, I have to say that I would be so excited if this turned out to be true, as I've thought for quite some time that B&M should create their own take on this revolutionary concept. Imagine if they made their own 4D coaster and improved on the comfort and reliability compared to the older Aero and SNS designs. In my mind, I imagine that something like this by B&M would probably be less intense than that of the likes of Ajanaka and X2, but would probably still offer great positive g-forces due to the nature of the ride, and would likely have much more reliable operations given B&M's track record. 
I believe where this theory really started to pick up more is on Reddit when we found out about the recent site plans for SeaWorld Orlando for 2021. Many people began to speculate that this front gate demolition would lead to a total revamp of the front of the park and could possibly include a wing coaster like Cedar Point did with Gatekeeper for their entrance in 2013. This then led to the idea of this new surf coaster being a new version of the wing coaster and potentially a wing coaster with seats that spin forwards and backwards. While this idea leaves me excited about the potential possibilities for a ride such as this, I am not expecting this to be the case either. As much as I think B&M really needs to step out of their comfort zone a bit to compete more aggressively with manufacturers such as Intamin, Vacoma, and RMC, I also think that B&M would try to keep things as consistent and safe as possible, and I'm not sure they would want to make the jump for something so extreme quite yet, seeing as they've never done anything remotely similar to this. They will have to introduce a new concept at some point or another though, so maybe now is the time for B&M to pull off this concept, seeing as it is nothing new at this point, having been introduced nearly 20 years ago with Aerodynamic Swansong X2. To give you an answer as to what I believe the surf coaster may actually turn out to be, I would say that out of these common theories presented, the new generation stand-up coaster is probably the most likely and seems to make the most sense in some respects. I would like for this new concept to be B&M's take on the 4th Dimension coasters though, by far. So what do you all think B&M is going to present to the world whenever they decide to finally unveil this new concept? Are we looking at something that is a game changer for the industry, or is this going to be a disappointing rehash of an old concept that may fail in the long run and why do you think that? I am curious to hear your ideas for the surf coaster, and are you excited for the future of B&M? Let me know all of that in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future and like this video if you enjoyed it. You can like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Once again, this has been Coaster Daddy. Thanks for watching. Bye.